All right, boys and girls. Hello again. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com and Real Illusion Forums. Um, so, somebody on my channel was talking about uh, importing objects as uh, or exporting them as OBJ and importing them uh, otherwise, possibly through 3D Exchange. First of all, um, OBJs tend to be a lot larger than FBX files. Uh, it's it's hard to make a general hard and fast rule, but that's just a tendency. I wanted to show you this. The um, for example, the supernova ship as an FBX file, it's only twenty five, right? So it's twenty five megs, but as an OBJ, it's one hundred fifty four megs. So in general, that's not necessarily a, a a good way of approaching it if you think you're going to save some space. But they do operate differently, and uh, I think if you remember last time, we talked about why this particular uh, ship in iClone, this particular prop, uh, is, a, is a rig prop, because it has all these bones. So, And I showed you how to animate it using those bones. So that's, that's one possibility. However, the, if you bring it in as an OBJ, OBJs don't have rigging. But what happens with an OBJ is that, that in iClone, they're split into separate parts. And then you can animate the separate parts. So I'm going to start, I would show you at least that one. So I'm going to drag over that OBJ file. And just like I did with the FBX file, if you have 3DX Exchange already installed, then iClone will allow you to drag and drop uh, either FBX or OBJ files in here. So loads the stream in. To the one guy that was having problems, maybe with his graphic card and her memory, this might work better, possibly, even though it's a lot larger file, only because it's loaded in small chunks, but it's worth a try. Okay, now, first of all, it says it contains 117 meshes. We do want to break up the meshes into subprops, because subprops is how we're going to animate this thing now. We don't have the rigging anymore, but we, have, we can animate each individual piece of the larger prop. So that's how we, how we do it. So, so now we've got this, this ship inside. And um, I didn't actually look to see how the how the size of this ship compares to um, to the um, what am I doing here? Anyway, so I so I don't know, but but uh, I suspect that once it gets inside of iClone, it's about the same size. So now we have the ship, and if we were in this scene, you see there's the ship, and you could actually take the ship, this whole ship. And you can move it. You could go ahead and, you know, move the whole ship, animate it that way. But now if we want to animate parts of this, so for example, this small turret here, okay? So first of all, we want to find wherever that turret is. Um, that might be it, it's possibly. may not be it. Actually, let's do this. Let's see if we can find, no, that's not it. All right, let's find, see if we can find this, this turret. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's the turret. Okay, the first thing we have to do is, and, and that's why this will be a bit of a drag. When it's already rigged, you don't have to do the rigging. But now that it's not rigged, we have to sort of rig it. And, and what I mean rig it is we have to change the pivot points. So if we didn't change the pivot points, if we just went ahead and tried to say I've got pivot set here, you, you'll say, well, where's the gizmo? Well, that's because the pivot point is located way over here where the ship is. So this isn't going to work if I try to turn this. The, the whole thing just moves off like that direction. So, so you can't do that. So you have to adjust the pivot point. So we would go to Modify and then go into Pivot and Edit Pivot. And the first thing we can try is to center it. However, this isn't going to work real well because this, if I, if I just say End That, now if I go to try to, to do this, this, this actual thing isn't really centered. Um, it's centered, I mean, it's not centered on the ball part of it. The ball part of it is what you really want to move. It's kind of centered on the whole object, which has those guns, you know, part of it. So in order to center this right, we would actually have to be more on top of this and, and move the pivot point to, to the center of the ball. So you'll have to kind of eyeball it. <laughs> no pun intended. So that's probably close to it. Um, and, and the same thing goes on the side. You'd want this to be more or less in the middle of that ball. And I, you know, I really don't know. So that's, that's the drag part of trying to, to you're, in essence, you're rigging this yourself. So 
Uh, but assuming that you get it reasonable, then now we can we can rotate it and and do that. You still have to be a little careful because if you'll notice, this thing isn't even this process isn't level here. So if we start to move it in different directions, it'll start to look weird and get get off base. So you're going to have to still be careful and and keep your rotations careful. But other than that, that's that's basically how you would rig things yourself. So. Same thing if we go to one of these uh, doors here. Uh, 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 somewhere where the bay doors are. Open the pod bay doors. Oh, there we go. Okay, here's some doors here. So if we if we go to one of these doors and try to find out where they are. <laughs> hanger doors. I'm not sure where the hanger, which, which hanger door is what, but... Ah, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so that hanger door there. So once again, uh, we would have to go to modify and edit the pivot, and we want to center that pivot. And it'll be a little trickier with the with this door because what we're going to do is not only do we have to center it properly here, but we got to decide how this door is going to open. And I think this door is going to open from the top. I think this is going to rotate inward. So I think we'd want to move that pivot up like that. I think. But again, this is the problem when you're when you're rigging it yourself. You've got to decide how you're going to be uh, managing this. And notice, see, it's going off off kilter there. So. Obviously, that's that's not right. We still have to edit this pivot to get it right, and it, it might be tricky. You know, it's uh, you can you can actually see that this pivot is off just there in in straight on. So you would have to you'd have to change the pivot to make sure it was exactly aligned. Gonna be a little tricky, but that's that's the problem with with rigging it yourself is that you have to. Uh, you have to get it right because otherwise it won't look right. So that that looks reasonable. That that's probably okay. But you'll have to do that now for a lot of things and uh, all these laser cannons and uh, turrets and stuff. So if you do that, then you can animate that. You can animate the sub props and then you can move the whole thing. So that's that's another way of going. Uh, I can't tell you which is better. It just depends upon how you enjoy doing things. Whether you enjoy manipulating a thing that's already rigged via the bones or if you feel more comfortable animating sub props but are okay with adjusting the pivot point properly uh, then you can do it either way um, you can't really do a combination it's either rigged or it's not rigged so you don't really have a choice of of taking them apart like that so anyway um so hopefully this helps guys and uh and i'll see you around the forums